Welcome back gamers. It's season 22 and we got a new beast on our hands so we've done a video this week on the one and only Ash. I just had a wisdom tooth extract so bear with me as I get through this video but I think you'll enjoy this one and I think you can add Ash to your list as a meta legend to play either in solo queue or team queue. As a quick reminder we do one of these videos every single Sunday and the majority of these clips all come from playing with viewers on our streams which are sunday monday thursday and friday here on youtube also on twitch at the real m's so if you're looking to learn about more legends or learn how to rank up better it's free to play we encourage everyone to stop by so that being said let's get right into all the meat of bones of ash a legend that you should be playing this season because we are still in our continued meta of movement that's right slow pokes quit playing watson and quit playing callus and start getting the movement legends on your list because guess what they run the show right now as we said i'd probably put ash up towards the a to s tier in solo queue because the amount of mobility and the ability to have some serious playmaking abilities with her snare so let's get right into her abilities. I'm sure you know, but let's talk a little bit about the perk system. First one, level two perk, you're going to take every time the one minute to live. What this does is when you find a death box and you activate her passive, you can find the teammates that are still alive pinging on the map for the next minute. Let's just be honest, you don't need the other one because guess what, as soon as you end the fight, just be prepared for someone coming in and try to catch you slip it. So it's always one minute to live, we move on after that. Her level three can seem like a situation, but I will tell you the greedy snare can pay off so, so big late game. There are times where having two snares is great, but for the most part I have been taking greedy snare just because the amount of triggered snare and damage is insane. Anytime you find the enemy is grouped up, throwing this bad boy will result in 100 damage and to be fair, sometimes it just stops them from moving or running and it's phenomenal so as you can see all three abilities mark for death allows you to mark a death box and it will tell you where these enemies are why we go the level two perk is it allows it to ping those enemies if they're still alive on the map another great reason to place ash solo queue is that you can pull up the map at any given time and see the death boxes of the zones around you where people have died once you're in the zones marking them if the team is still alive with the level two perk it'll allow you to see them pinging on the map for one minute which puts you at an advantage as far as map awareness goes same thing being said if you are solo if you're down a player it gives you the ability as you can see in this clip here to i know exactly where these guys are so i'm not going to just run right into them it takes a little getting used to because you typically just want to run and loot a loot uh, box but you have to use your tactical on the loot box to make sure it pings and lets you know whether the people that killed that squad are alive or if they're dead so like i said in that clip we're running away we can't see him anymore since we did this video a lot with viewers we found ourselves using the ultimate for the most part to get out of trouble instead of get ourselves in a good position to win now i know we have a clip of it here but you can time this thing so well it is a little finicky it's not as far as you think it would go if i was going to ask for one perk i would think that having the distance maybe potentially doubled maybe one and a half times stronger would make ash phenomenal pairing ash up with another movement legend such as revenant pathfinder even having a crypto use the emp makes the portal so much more devastating it is a little slow and to be fair to you if you're the ash you're most likely the first one taking damage so you have to be the aggressor and the person that likely is going to hit those first two shots because you're most likely getting cracked when you get out of it Again, you see in this clip, I'm seeing exactly where the death boxes are. So you always know when you go into a zone, if there's potentially people there. Now it's not always guaranteed, but it gives you an idea versus just running them blindly and dying. I will tell you another thing's very important, at least when you're playing solo, is you need to make sure either you are sticking with your teammates, or your teammates are right on top of you. This portal goes very, very quickly and it does make a very loud sound. So people know you are coming. That came out poorly but you know what i mean they know it they know you're on the way i do like the highlight of vision so you know exactly where you're running into that was a change from a couple seasons ago so that is a huge perk so you know exactly who you're running into sometimes you have yourself planned to take your ultimate and you know, there's only one person but yet you can see two or three as you travel through the portal but like i said i found myself for the most part while playing in solo queue if teammates were not talking i found it for the most part getting myself out of sticky situations and making sure i stayed alive but for the most part if you have teammates that are really really vocal and you're stuck together really well this ultimate can be phenomenal at closing the gap on people or stopping people from running now we didn't talk about the stairs much the snares what i think is the most beneficial part of the kit i feel like it's a little better than mad maggie just because 
this sticks people in place. The accuracy doesn't have to be also 100% perfect. If you just throw this for the most part in the range of where they are, this thing is going to stick. And like anything else, you're talking about a little bit of anxiety when you get stuck with this thing. It does make people panic a little bit. And most of the time their teammates run right into it, which is highly beneficial. I'm not gonna walk through all these clips specifically, but just as you watch and listen to the sound of my great voice, you can tell most of the time when people get snared here, they get really nervous. They don't tend to hit any shots whatsoever. Outside of just stopping people from trying to retreat or get at their positioning better, we've got plenty of clips where I'm just shooting, I'm automatically shooting this snare to stop people from moving. I know we didn't really talk about it, but her kit is not that challenging to play. Her ultimate can be very forgiving in senses. The cooldown comes up very quick. I'm talking 60 seconds without an alt excel. The snare with a gold helmet goes from 20 seconds to 15. So this thing is up pretty quickly. Like I said, I, I haven't often chose the double snare because I just find it towards the mid end game when I'm getting that level three perk. I'm finding it sometimes more beneficial to use the snare to attach different teammates to it. Here's another great example of using this snare just so this guy can't go get cover here. It's just the straight juice. I'm telling you right now, it's good. You gotta be able to use the abilities while shooting. It's what makes this Legends kit so great. Not to mention this is an Assault legend, So if you find yourself needing better attachments, this again is the legend. You can hold more ammo. You get the Assault bins, which allows you to get the attachments you feel like you need to help in the game. Here's another one. We're just catching a boat. You ain't going nowhere, boys. You're not going anywhere. Somewhere toward the 100th to 200th game, I found myself using this snare way more consistently just while fighting someone towards wherever their angle is. The purpose there was to always keep them from instead of trying to side peek or to get covered, this was allowed to keep them more exposed. That way we could finish the fight or do additional damage to them. I will say this is not like Alter and not like Wraith in a sense of using your ultimate to take your downed teammates to a specific area. I found in most of the clips, this is one where it was successful, but I found in most of the clips, I found myself using this ash alt to take my down teammate somewhere and the teammates just follow and kill us both so it wasn't as good statistically as i thought it may be however you can pull it off if you're further away from a team because it doesn't last very long i think the portal may be up for 10 seconds i don't know the exact amount of time so i must be a terrible youtuber but regardless it's not that great in using it but you get what i mean when i say it sometimes it can be possible so overall i think i would have put ash towards like the b tier after not playing her so you ash mains already know that she is very very good this season with the current meta i think she's playable and solo because you have the ability if you need to reset get away keep yourself from losing a ton of rp you have the ability to do so with her ultimate so i think if you've not learned to practice her yet pick her up and don't forget stop in anytime you want we'll get some games in and to you gamers we'll see you back here next Sunday. Stay fragging, stay happy.